Graham, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, for the uninitiated, what is the MEH joint venture? The MEH joint venture is a, a new joint venture. Uh, five significant industry partners who have come together to collaborate to deliver the main mechanical, electrical and HVC works for the Hinkley Point C project. And why is that needed? It's learning really from Flamanville, uh, the first EPR in France. Uh, the traditional single discipline package uh, fighting with hard interfaces between other packages wasn't very successful at Flamanville. It's very complicated, there's a lot of volume, a lot of complexity. So the client being in the centre of that is maybe not the best athlete to manage those interfaces. Sometimes the supply chain can manage that better themselves. And that's what we're doing at Hinkley. The supply chain coming together as five partners will manage the interfaces for the delivery of the MEH works. We'll take that responsibility from the customer. And this is a completely new way of working. Not completely new, but certainly completely new for, for delivery of such a complex undertaking. First in a generation. We haven't built anything in this country like this since size will be in the early 90s. So it's, it's a very uh, significant departure from how we've done it before. And certainly to involve as many partners, five significant industry partners. Not usual to do it with as many partners. And with that in mind, with the fact that these are going to be the first reactors built for decades, what about skills fade? How are you finding people, training people, reinvigorating the industry? How's that all working? I think we, we have a, a very developed skills group who have mapped the skills uh, capability and availability in the UK. Our skills team have identified, for instance, that during the duration of the Hinkley Point C project, the UK welding capability, 16% of that will reach retirement age during the lifetime of the Hinkley project. So that's a significant uh, shortage. We've already, as MEH, started our first batch of uh, apprentices training at Doosan's Tipton facility in the West Midlands. So we have already got the confidence in the programme to start training the next generation. What about longevity? I mean, obviously you are going to create uh, huge, almost, economic redevelopment in certain areas. Absolutely. When the build is finished, what happens to those people? Where do they go? What do they do? The joint venture is not specifically for Hinkley. So it's, it's intended to survive Hinkley and be in place for the, for the fleet. So it's intended to survive Hinkley and, and carry on to Sizewell, carry on to Bradwell, and, and hopefully help just get us to uh, net zero by 2050. That's the intention. And how many people are we talking about here? How many people involved? Uh, at peak, we'll have uh, about 4,000 people at Hinkley. Just now, uh, we're about 140 people currently today uh, located in Bristol together. But uh, at peak, we'll go to about 4,000 people. So it's a significant undertaking and, and, and that's why we need such a significant joint venture. It's a lot larger than just one or two reactors. Oh, absolutely. We are set up for a whole sector. We're delivering for a sector. It's such a complex undertaking that we really need a new approach. Trying to do, trying to do it the old way, the way that we've always done it, probably wouldn't get us to a sustainable, an economic model that would that would be uh, sustainable really for for uh, Sizewell. The Sizewell uh, contract for difference will need to be about 30% cheaper than than Hinkley. So we have to continuously improve and we'll, we'll, we're looking to continuously improve even from unit one to unit two at Hinkley. And what most excites you about this? I think what most excites me is it's, it's a first in a generation project. It's the most complex job in, in the country and it's an opportunity to work in a different way. The, the old uh, lump sum hard contract and model, it's, it's had its day for such uh, significant in infrastructure projects. It's exciting to be at the forefront of something different, working together. It's exciting to see the next generation of apprentices. I was a Doosan apprentice myself many, many years ago, so it's great to see the next generation coming into an industry I've, I've worked in my whole life. Exciting stuff. We'll follow it with great interest. Graham, thank you very much for joining us. Very welcome. Thank you.